All right, so since Moon Knight came out, I had some fun, like, in-universe fanfiction ideas I wanted to share with you guys. I've got two ideas and two stories I want to share with you guys, and I thought it'd be pretty fun to talk about them because, yeah, Moon Knight just came out, and I do want to do a review of it when it's all done. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's dive into it with our first story, and that is Moon Knight vs. X-Men. So, or X-Men vs. Moon Knight, whatever sounds better. So Moon Knight vs. X-Men, this comic, I mean this story, excuse me, this story is basically a, uh, I guess you could, yeah, it is set in the Krakoa era, the current events of X-Men, but it is, it does have a few little changes, like we still have Magneto here, um, there's, a, like, it's set in a point where it's, uh, like, a little earlier, like a little earlier in, Krak in Krakoa, because I know there's been some major changes as of late, so let's just put it in the nebulous Krakoa timeline of X-Men. So yeah, let's get into it. So this story begins with um, what has happened is that Xavier and the other telepaths have sensed that someone who isn't a mutant has arrived on Krakoa. And that can't happen because no one is allowed on Krakoa unless Krakoa, only mutants, uh, mutants only. And yeah, someone has to, uh, someone has to be a mutant and it has to be okayed by Krakoa it, him, itself. So now they're like, uh, hey, there's someone here that shouldn't be here and what's scarier, we can't find them. So obviously this person is Moon Knight. Yeah, Moon, uh, Mark Spector has ent has arrived on Krakoa and he's like sneaking through like the, the city, like the jungles and whatnot of Krakoa. He's actually fighting like, because it's a living island, he's actually fighting most of it. And the thing is, is, like, they can't, the telepaths can't pin him down. Like, they don't know who it is, even though, yeah, we as the, right, uh, we as the viewer know. Um, and they're like, we, we don't know who it is. So, they, and Krakoa, like, the people who are connected to it, are, like, sensing that this, uh, someone has snuck on here. So, basically, they're like, well, we gotta go find out who it is. And Logan's like, on it! <laughs> so, Wolverine goes into the depths of Krakoa and encounters Moon Knight. And he's like, how the fuck did you get here? And Moon Knight's like, can't talk, doing, uh, doing shit. <laughs> so Moon Knight and Logan fight. And this is right after, like, I would have uh, I would have this story right after the events of the Avengers story where Moon Knight defeated the Avengers to allow Khonshu to take over the war. It was a whole fucking thing. But yeah, so, Mo uh, so yeah, the X-Men are like, we heard about what you did to the Avengers. Not cool, bro. And they're like, you don't. And Moon Knight's like, don't be sanctimonious with me, assholes. You guys could have stepped in at any point. You motherfuckers could have helped out, but instead you wanted to play the isolation card. Don't play sanctimonious with me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So Wolverine uh, and Moon Knight fight, but and Moon Knight gets away. But we don't know what. But he doesn't find out why Moon Knight is here to begin with. He actually like beats Wolverine in the fight. Like, he manages to defeat him. He doesn't kill him, but he's like, I'm on a timetable. You're not, you know, you are not important right now, uh, Wolverine. Get out of my way. So Wolverine, uh, so, Wolverine, like, reports back. And this brings up the point of, okay, Moon Knight could not have gotten on this island unless someone invited him here. You know, they're less concerned about, how, like, how he got it. Like, they're more less concerned of why he's here and more like, they remake the realization, someone let him on the island. Someone let him on Krakoa. We need to find out if there's a traitor here. And what we also need to figure out what Moon Knight's whole plan is. So, everyone's, like, the X-Men are on, like, a search party. And the thing is, is, like, there's not, like, they're having trouble finding him because they're, like, he's a crazy, he's just some crazy guy in white. Like, he can't take on all the X-Men, can he? And, um, Logan goes, yeah. I'm sure the Avengers thought the same thing, too, when he kicked their asses. Just saying. Like, everyone, like, underestimates, uh, Mar uh, like, Mark during the whole story. is like, no one, like, uh, no one, like, thinks he's a real, like, Moon Knight is a real threat. Because he's always been, like, this street-level character who has been an Avenger in the past, but he's never been, like, a major character. And, like, I want to have this moment where, like, Iceman is talking, uh, talking to Kurt, and he's like, yeah, so, like, he's just some crazy guy in white, right? Like, he's just some Egyptian dude in white who, like, he doesn't even have, like, a lot of powers. He's not that, he can't be that scary. Like, and Kurt goes, yeah, did you hear what he did to the Avengers? Um, 
And like this guy, like everyone doesn't take him Moon Knight seriously. Like that's the thing. And even Mark like notes that good. They don't think I'm a threat. Pity on them. So he encounters like um, Moon Knight gets caught up by um, Nightcrawler and Iceman, and he actually like you like. Um, he manages to use like a thermal grenade on uh, Bobby to, to to at least wound him enough, to, like knock him down. And then when he's battling Nightcrawler and he's having a little trouble, he goes, "You know what the problem with you teleporters is?" And he like crack it, like he anticipates where um, Kurt's gonna bamf, and he like gets him right when he teleports. And he's like, "You're so goddamn predictable." And this is the point where he runs into Jean Grey. And you're already thinking, oh shit, Jean Grey is going to rock his shit. That's where you'd be wrong because, yeah, initially, like Jean Grey hits him with a mind blast to like knock him out. Um, but here's the thing: he doesn't go down. Like Moon Knight goes, "Oh, you want to play mind games, right? Okay, we'll play this game." And Jean basically go uh, goes into Moon Knight's head. And is instantly assaulted by the fact that he's a mul he has multiple personalities. He's constantly switching between all the personalities. Like w the th the moment Jean thinks she's got like a lock on what Moon Knight's after or why he's here, he instantly switches to another personality. And he does this over and over again. Like the mind his mindscape is like so damaged. Like she's like, I would rather be in Deadpool's mind right now than I would uh, his. Like she has to like, uh, like Jean Grey's like gets, oh, Jean gets overwhelmed by Mark's mental disorder. And yeah, there's even a point where like she digs deeper and he's like, you don't want to go deep. And then boom, Khonshu shows up in his mind and like scares her out of his head. Um, yeah. So by this point, like, all the X-Men are, like, fighting their... Like, Moon Knight's fighting his way through all the X-Men. He even encounters Magneto, and Magneto's like, you are you are just a human who battles the Master of Magnetism. They're, all your weapons are metal. And he's like, you know, you'd be right if I didn't bother switching from, we uh, from metal weapons to plastic weapons. So, yeah, Moon Knight manages to stun Mag... And he's just, like... Because the thing is, like, everyone's taking Moon Knight not seriously. Everyone is not taking him seriously. And then we find out why Mark is on Krakoa. We find out why he's on the island. Turns out, Apocalypse stole something from Khonshu. That thing was a... More or less a book. It was a massive tome, which was going... Which basically reveals the... It chronicles the past and present of Khonshu... Of Khonshu's avatars. Like, basically, the book is... Uh, chronicles all the avatars of, of before uh, that belonged to Khonshu, that became Moon Knight, and will tell the world, tell the cult of Khonshu who will be the next avatar, like who will be the next Moon Knight. So the reason why uh, Apocalypse wanted this book was because he was like, yeah, maybe, we, maybe it's a... Because he's found out that the next person who will be... Um, Moon Knight, like the book told him, the next Moon, uh, the next Moon Knight will be a mutant. So Apocalypse is basically like, yeah, I was thinking ahead of the curb and wanted to get the book so I could find the next Moon Knight and bring them here, so it would they would be trained on Krakoa. Like they would be not only an avatar of your god, they would be a perf a avatar of Krakoa as well. And Mark goes, that's not how this fucking works, man. You you don't get to you don't get to interrupt someone's life and he goes like your god did to you and he's like touche asshole <laughs> um but yeah so that's the whole thing is that and even like um Khonshu even like like told Mark you know get retribute get the book and get retribution and yeah the X Men are like he's like I want Apocalypse's head and he's like and everyone's like good luck with that. And yeah, you may like we're not we're also done taking you as a not seriously. We're we're you are an actual threat, and we're not like the Avengers who didn't want to kill you. We will kill you if you try to fight us. We don't want to, but we will. There's the difference between uh, the act and like um, Scott uh, like Cyclops lays it out for Moon Knight. You want to know the difference between the Avengers and us? We'll cross the line if we need to. We don't wanna, but we will. That's how you beat the Avengers. 
They didn't. Uh, they pussyfooted around with it. We ain't. So if you want to keep this up, then we'll be. You know, we'll take you less as like a fellow hero, and more as a threat. Because you invaded our island uh, to attack. Uh, you know, you invaded our island. You're an enemy of the state as far as we're concerned, Spectre. And Moon Knight goes, I wasn't invading. I was inviting. I was invited, remember? So now they're like, well, who the hell invited Mo let Moon Knight on Krakoa? And then, out of the blue, Gambit stands up and goes, me. Yeah, Gambit's the one who let uh, Moon Knight on Krakoa. Why? Because Gambit was still not over the fact of, of he wasn't over what Apocalypse did to Rogue in Excalibur. He wasn't over that, and this was like when when Moon Knight contacted him, he was like, "Yeah, I'll help you." So now there's a bit of a little more friction among the X Men that one of their own decide to betray them. They give him the book back and they tell Moon Knight to fuck off. But yeah, so kind of like a fun mini series, really. So there you go. So you guys tell me in the comments below, uh, what did you guys think of X-Men vs. Moon Knight? Uh, did you guys like it? Uh, hate it? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.